Hi everyone, welcome to Studio at Home. My name is Danielle Hatch. I'm an educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Today we are going to be making some paper flowers. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. So today we're going to be making some paper flowers to brighten up our interior spaces. Inspired by the 2018 floral installation at Crystal Bridges by the artist Jessica Pazala. Her installation, titled Unfading Flowers, was an immersive experience where guests were surrounded by walls of colorful leaves and blooms created entirely from paper. Jessica is the artist and designer behind the creative studio Bramble Workshop. The title for the installation was based on the Emily Dickinson poem, There is Another Sky, which describes a forest whose leaves are evergreen. To learn more about this installation, see the link below. So here is what you'll need to create your own paper flowers. First, you'll need some thick paper. I'm using some sun faded construction paper that I unearthed from under a box. I've also created one flower from the paper in a magazine that I had lying around. This magazine's paper was a little thicker and glossier than regular printer paper. So the thicker paper you can find, the better. It'll hold the shape of your flower. The second item you'll need is a pencil to, to draw your templates. You'll need a glue gun, or you can use Elmer's glue if you've got a lot of time to sit around and hold your flower together, maybe if you're binge watching Netflix. Next, you'll need some scissors to cut out your templates and a wooden dowel, or you can use your uh, pencil to curl the edges of your paper. And finally, this is optional. You can use some wire or a stick to create a stem for your flowers. I'm using a wooden shish kebab stick from my kitchen. So you can see it, anything straight you can attach to the edge of your flower to create the stem. So step one is to draw your two template shapes for your flower. The first is a small four petal cutout and then a slightly larger single petal. You can choose any shape for your petals. You can do a rounded petal or a petal that comes to a point at the edge. It's your choice. So you're gonna start out by freehand drawing your first template for these. So there's one smaller petal and then the larger petal. Step two will be to cut out your template and use it to trace six more small petals and 12 of the single petals. Okay, step three, once you've cut out all of your petal shapes. Then you'll cut out a long, thin line of paper and you're going to fold this over. This is going to be the center of your flower. You'll fold it over and then you'll begin cutting along the folded edge of your paper and you won't cut all the way through the fold, but just about halfway down. And once you've finished, have something that looks like this. So the next step will be to roll this together into a circle. So you'll just take one edge and begin rolling that side together. And the pieces on the top will start to flare out a little bit and that's okay. So you'll roll that together. And you can even use your fingers to kind of spread it out so it has a little more volume and then you'll set that aside here. The next step is going to be curling the edges of your flower petals. So I'm taking uh, my first smaller piece and I'm going to curl the edges just around my pencil. Step once you have your large petals curled is to take your scissors and make a small cut in the center 
of the flat edge. And then you'll put a dot of glue We'll turn it around and press that together. You want all of your petals to kind of flare out like this. So you can go one by one and cut and glue all of your large petals. Once you have all of your large petals glued together, you can begin to assemble your flower. So we'll take this central piece of our flower that we cut earlier and you'll add a drop of glue and just adhere that edge to itself to create the center of your flower. Then you'll take your stick if you decide to use one and you'll place some glue down a little bit more. the center and insert your stick or piece of wire, whatever you're using to create your uh, stem for your flower. Now that you have the central part of your flower glued on, you can begin to add your petals. So I'm going to take the petal that I curled in on the sides and I'm going to poke a hole through the center and then slide that up. Now I'm gonna put a little glue on the bottom here and just fold that in towards the center of my flower. And you can do this in any way you'd like. So if you wanna start on one end and then just go around, I'm gonna alternate different sides on these first few petals. So once that's dried, Again, you can kind of manipulate the petals and pull them out a little more, however you like. So you'll just hold this until the glue dries. Sometimes if the glue is too hot, I'll use a, another dowel to hold it together while it dries, so it doesn't burn my fingers. And once you have your first petals glued on, then you can move to adding the next. So once you've attached your smaller petals, you can move on to attaching the larger ones. And I've got one left over. You can add as many or as few as you like, depending on how um, full you want the flower to be. So I'm leaving a couple out for my smaller ones, just because it's getting a little large. So I'm gonna grab a larger petal, add a dot of glue, and then I'm gonna start applying these to the base of my smaller petals. Again, sort of alternating the placement in between the last set of petals that I attached. So you'll begin to start to add these in kind of concentric circles around that exterior of your flower until it gets to be about the size that you'd like. Once you've finished adding in all of your larger petals to your flower, then you can add it to your paper flower arrangements. Now that you've completed your bouquet, please document what you've made and share with us using the hashtag crystalbridgesathome.